Hey there, Sagittarius. Welcome to your reading for the week of October 19th. You have a good week this week, really. Um, you know, I think even love is on the table for a lot of you, which it has been for a while, I think. But uh, it's required work, for sure, if it, you know, if it is, you know, if it is, has been on the table for you. But I think it's, like, a little bit easier this week. You're still going to have to work for it, but it'll just be a little bit smoother and it'll come in a little bit easier. I'm just going to try to fix my light in here. There we go. Um, the first card you have is a two of spades, though. Uh, it represents letting something go. It can even represent a breakup or letting somebody go. Usually with the two of spades, you're not, you know, too upset to see this situation go. Um, again, usually it's a person, but sometimes it can just be a situation. Um, you know, it can even be like a legal situation or something like that. Um, and sometimes with this card, you'll have to like settle or you'll have to make some sort of agreement or something like that. And sometimes you're not like 100% happy about that, but also... Um, you still feel okay about it because the situation's out of your life now. So just know that. But like I said, it's never too serious with the two of spades. It's only two. It's pretty weak. But again, something will be leaving you this week, chances are. But again, you probably won't be too upset to see it go, whatever the situation may be. Um, and next you have the six of spades, which is the one really positive spades card in the deck. It represents building momentum in your life. I think you're finally starting to see how things are moving forward in your life and you are building momentum that you want, like moving forward which, you know, for a lot of signs, and it's not just you, but a lot of signs have just been moving backwards. It's like they feel like they've been moving backwards. But I think now you're starting to see how actually that whole time you weren't moving backwards. You were, like, learning a lot. You learned a lot of things and how to deal with a lot of different situations, and now that's really going to be benefiting you. Um, and, and this will lead to a lot of forward momentum in your life, which this card's all about. It's all about building forward momentum and moving forward, and that's what the card really allows you to do. It's a great card. Uh, next, you have the two hearts, which, like I said, if you experience a breakup, it's like, you know, there's love right behind it right away. Two of hearts is like the best love card in the deck. It represents two people coming together being very happy. Um, again, it does require work. So, I mean, if you're single and you want to find somebody, you, you're going to have to go like go out and try to meet somebody. You're going to have to be proactive about it. You, you know, even if you are, you know, not the one who would usually approach this card says that you would have to be the one to approach. Like, you have to be a little bit more aggressive with this card and things like that. Just a feeling I'm getting off of it this week. And, you know, that. I mean, that's how it would benefit you most. So if you're not comfortable doing that, then, you know, then you're not going to, chances are you're not going to meet somebody. Like I said, this card rewards hard work. So you're definitely going to have to, like, put some work into it um, to try to meet somebody and, uh, you know, be proactive with this card. But it's on the table. For those of you that are coupled, by the way, this just means you'll, you'll really be happy with your, your, you know, spouse or significant other, whoever you're with, and it'll just be a good week. Uh, finally, you have the King of Diamonds, which represents you working really hard this week. I think you're going to be working really hard. Um, this is definitely Sagittarius right here, by the way. Um, working hard on things, working hard on business, working hard on your job, whatever it may be, and being really successful. King of Diamonds, one of the most successful cards in the deck. He does come with like the little caveat, though, that is... Um, you know, he can be very reactive. So he can react to situations very quickly. And he does say that you shouldn't, you know, watch your reactions this week. Watch how you react to situations um, just so nothing negative happens that could snowball. And, uh, you know, just keep everything positive this week with this card. But all in all, a great week. So enjoy it.